Loft command in solid modeling creates a solid object connecting several cross sections specified by the user. The cross sections can be either closed or open and can be in different planes. Let's try this on the circular cross sections first. These are all circles with different diameter kept in different planes. So I'll click on loft command and I'll select the first circle, second and the third. The selection order is important. Now I'll give an enter, one more enter. And this object is a loft object. Now it won't make any sense. So I'll change the visual style to shade it with edges. So this is the resulting object. Now I'm going to try the same loft command on the same set of circles. So I'll click on loft again and I'll select the bottommost circle first and the topmost circle second and the middle one third. I'll give an enter and one more enter. Now you can see that it has resulted in a different 3D geometry. Next I'll try the loft command on different set of cross sections. I'll click on loft and I'll select the circle, this polygon as well as this shape. This is the interesting loft geometry. Now if required you can click on mode option and you can choose whether you want a solid or a surface model. Now I would like to stick to solid so I'll give an enter, one more enter. Now you will get a grip here, just click over here. You can alter the shape of the resulting 3D geometry by clicking on any of these options. If you click on normal to all sections, this will be the shape. Next I'll click on normal to start section, you will get a different shape. Now normal to end sections, it changes. Likewise you can try out with various options. So normal to fit is the default, I'll click on that and I'll give an enter. So this is the shape of this loft object. You can have these different shapes even after performing lofting. So I'll click on this loft object and you will get the same grip here. Click on normal to end section. Now you can see the change. Now I'll click on ruled. It is just a straight connection between the cross sections. Now normal to start and end sections, this is a shape. Now I'll undo these changes. and I've got those cross sections back. I'll click on loft again. Now I'll show you the application of point option. So click on the point option, then it'll ask you to specify a loft start point. I'll keep the cursor right at the center of the circle. Don't click there, just move the cursor straight down to track that point. If the tracking is not on, press F11 function key to activate tracking. Now I'll simply pick a point here, which is the loft start point, then I'll select the first cross section, second one and the third one and I'll give enter and enter. So this is the shape of the loft object. Next I'll try lofting between these two cross sections. The speciality of this cross section is that these two profiles are open profiles. I'll click on loft and select the first cross section and the second cross section and I'll give an enter and enter. So this looks like a curtain, right? I'll undo this command and I'll click on loft again and select the first cross section and the second cross section and I'll give an enter. Now I'll click on the guides option. Click on guides. I'll select the first guide and the second guide. Now you can see that the loft object is automatically adjusted its shape to fit itself within the guides specified. Now it looks like a curled curtain. Now let's see the path option in the loft command. Path option will let you perform lofting along a path. I'll click on loft. I'll select the first circular cross section and the second cross section is an ellipse and the third cross section. This is the shape of the loft object but using path option lofting will be performed along the specified path. Now I'll give an enter and click on path option and select this path. Now it has performed lofting by connecting the given cross sections but at the same time it is performed along the given path. Hence lofting is a very powerful command with a lot of possibilities. In the next tutorial video I'll introduce you to the sweep command.